everyone welcome back i hope you all are doing well and you are staying safe so today's video is all about the newest launches of maybelline i would probably say the most awaited launches in india so maybelline has newly come up with her all-time favorite the lash sensational sky high mascara and her lifter glosses on nika and i immediately ordered it and i have tried out these items over a couple of days and now i am here to share my thoughts about it so i have picked up three shades of her lifter glosses and one sky high mascara which i'm going to talk about in this video i'm going to show you the application of both of these products along with the swatches of the lifter glosses the formulation so today's video is just a quick little review on these products i hope you're gonna definitely love this but before that make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that small little notification bell next to the right subscribe button so that you may get notifications every single time i put a new video so without any more blabbering let's get started so I'm starting with the Maybelline New York uh, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara which I think is so hyped out all over the internet especially because of how this mascara performs so this is how it looks like this mascara is pressured to be $799 and you are getting 6ml of product so the price point according to me is a little bit high when it comes to Maybelline mascaras but this seems to be like quite a closest dupes of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. So in that point, I would say the price point is really apt. So the packaging looks something like this. It comes in this kind of like an outer cardboard case and you get the mascara inside, which looks something like this. To be honest, guys, I am in love with the packaging completely rose gold body looks so elegant and premium looking actually and sky high is actually embossed on it which has added like a luxury kind of look to this mascara the packaging is so good you have to unscrew the cap and this is how the applicator looks like so the brand has claimed it to have a flex a tower brush applicator which i would say looks completely unique so it is a straight at the same time spiky it has got a lot of spikes going on but this one is completely flexible so I'm trying to bend it and you can see the flexibility of the product so the brush is really flexible which I think will allow you to apply the product generously from your roots uh, to the tips of your lashes so I haven't seen uh, this kind of applicator it looks unique at the same time this particular applicator helps you to coat your lower lashes so well guys because of the tower shape so now coming to the product this one is in the shade very black so when you apply the product you will find that this mascara is having like an intense color payoff the consistency is more on the medium side not too thin not too thick I think over a period of time it will just become a little clumpy at the same time a little more thick but the consistency of a new mascara that I have seen with this particular mascara is really good for coating each and every lash I have now coming to the mascara itself which I know you guys are eager to know this one is not a voluminous mascara it's more of a lengthening mascara it coats each and every lash you have and makes them visible if you have very long lashes this is just gonna make your lashes so prominent it makes your lashes look elongated so it's that kind of mascara at the same time i have seen that when i layer it on a number of times it adds volume to the lower part of my lashes that means to the roots of my lashes which i think actually looks good so even if you haven't applied any kajal or eyeliner it's gonna make your roots of your lashes look really dense so with the first coat of the mascara i have seen that it has added a lot of length to my lashes not volume but after i layer it on for two times like the second coats of mascara and the third coats of mascara i have seen that it has added volume to the roots of my lashes at the same time also made my lashes look really prominent and really black and visible so this is more of a very lengthening kind of defining mascara not a complete voluminous mascara and also another thing that i have noticed with this particular mascara is that with the third coat of this mascara guys it already starts on clumping in my lashes so this one if you layer it on a number of times it's gonna look really clumpy in your lashes mainly because of the formulation maybe but i love clumpy lashes guys to be honest 
if you see my lash paradise mascara my mars mascara those look really clumpy in my lashes and i enjoy that because i love the spidery kind of effect that a mascara gives when it's clumpy but since it's a new mascara i have seen that after the application of the second coat when i have started on applying the third coat it already starts on looking really clumpy in my lashes so i am super impressed with the long lasting power of this particular mascara guys this is so long wearing it's gonna there on your lashes up to 10 plus hours which i have noticed in a super hot humid rainy day i have seen that it was there on my lashes i didn't see any kind of flakes on my face in spite of being a clumpy mascara this one is not at all going to flake off from your lashes so i really like that i have seen that mascara when it's a new one does not flake off that much but when it's getting old it kind of flake off because of the consistency being uh, getting thicker so that's the thing which i can definitely say at the end of the day this particular mascara is the hardest to remove from your lashes yes that's only the con of the product which i have seen guys i know it's not a con for everyone out there because people love really long wearing uh, mascaras uh, but it is long wearing at the same time so stubborn it's not gonna come off with your micellar water if you use an oil infused micellar water that's gonna work but you have to rub it just rigorously to make the product out from your lashes at the same time it's not gonna come off uh, with warm water which i have seen with my l'oreal uh, air volume mascara which comes up so easily by using just a lukewarm water but with this mascara you have to use a full on heavy duty complete cleansing oil like a very high performance cleansing oil to remove from your lashes the first time you use your cleansing oil and rub it it's not gonna come off you have to work really hard to make this product out from your lashes but it's very long lasting and it looks really good on your lashes guys and i think this is a product that you can definitely check out if you are a working woman if you are going to college and if you have a very long day and you want something to be there on your lashes at the same time it also looks really good on bare face so if you are not a makeup person but you want uh, your face your eyes to look really good because lashes plays an important role in making your face look guys so whenever you are using a really good like a voluminous mascara like a very defining kind of mascara which makes your lashes look vis visible automatically your face will look really sharp and uh, it will just change the overall look of your face so this is the product that definitely you can check out it's now available on nika from where i got it i'm going to put the link of this product down in the description box so according to me this is the product that you can definitely invest your money in coming to the next uh, launch which are the maybelline new york uh, lifter glosses which looks something like this and i have been waiting for such a long time guys to launch this product in india because i have seen bloggers talking about it influencers just raving about this particular gloss and you guys know i love lip glosses so i immediately ordered three from nika so on nika maybelline has released a four shades I have picked up uh, the shade number 003 called Moon, 005 called Petal and 006 called Topaz. There was another shade which is called Silver which is more of a sparkling like a topper kind of lip gloss. That I haven't picked up. I picked up three shades which I'm gonna swatch for you. But before that let me talk about the packaging. The packaging looks absolutely stunning guys. It does not come with any outer cardboard box. Uh, this is how the lip gloss will come to you. It comes with the seal uh, which is at the back of the packaging. I love this nudish look of the lip gloss guys completely acrylic see-through packaging with a nude screw on cap on which the word lifter is written so coming to the applicator the applicator looks very very similar to fenty gloss bomb that i have with me it is a fat dough food applicator so this lip gloss is priced at rupees 5.99 and you are getting 5.4 ml of product the shelf life of the product is a three years so the packaging looks really good and i think the price point is really really good when it comes to lip glosses because the quality is the top notch guys so i'm going to talk about the formulation and everything but before that let me talk about the shades and show you the swatches of the shades that i picked up so coming to the first shade that i picked up is number 003 called moon which is a beautiful soft pink like a baby pink gloss a nude baby pink gloss which has got iridescent flecks of silver shimmers along with the rose gold shimmers in it which has given it that beautiful pearly finish on the lips with that juiciness and this is the gloss that's going to work on all indian skin tones and you can definitely top this 
a gloss off on top of any nude lipstick or lip liner and it's gonna look even more opaque and juicy on the lips i think this shade is really universal and can be worn by anyone out there so coming to the next one is perhaps my favorite one and this is the one which you should definitely check out because it looks super super juicy on the lips so this one is number 005 called petal it is a pink lip gloss but it is not a pearly finish pink gloss it is actually a true opaque pink gloss which has got very micro fine pink shimmers in it which you actually can't see when you apply it on the lips but you can see it uh, through the tube it looks super juicy on the lips guys it does not have any glistening effect to it because it does not contain any iridescent glitters or any micro fine shimmers multi-chrome to chrome shimmers in it which will give you that pearly finish it does not have that so it's a complete opaque gloss and it looks so beautiful on its own you don't have to top it off on top of any nude lipstick or lip liner you can just wear it on its own and it's gonna look beautiful it adds that beautiful juiciness to your lips and this shade called petal also going to look gorgeous on all indian skin tones out there uh, so going to the last one which is number 009 which i picked up is in the shade called two pass which i think is one of the closest dupes of my uh, fenty beauty gloss balm in the shade fenty glow which is a perfect uh, warm nude gloss for indian skin tones it looks like a brown gloss when you look at it from the tube but it looks like a beautiful warm nude gloss when you apply it on your lips this is also a pearlescent gloss it has got that pearly finish but it looks super juicy on the lips because it has got that iridescent flex of shimmers in it rose gold shimmers along with that silver shimmers which has added that glistening effect uh, to this lip gloss it looks super juicy on the lips guys and this is the gloss which you can use definitely on top of any nude lipstick or lip liner or else if you have really nice rosy lips you can use it on its own guys it, it is gonna look beautiful guys i think most of the shades that maybelline has launched in india are going to look gorgeous on indian skin tones and i picked up these are three which absolutely looks gorgeous guys So guys you have seen the swatches and I am in love with the glosses guys each and every shade is so universal and it's going to work on all Indian skin tones at the same time these glosses are working like my high end glosses so these are just so amazing the formulation is so good guys the formulation is a thick but it's so easy to apply on the lips not at all goopy or clumpy on your uh, lips it does not feel at all sticky on the lips even if you have applied it on top of your new lipstick or lip liner whatsoever it will not at all be at all sticky on your lips just one single dip of the product will evenly apply the product on all over your lips and it's gonna add that beautiful shine that glistening effect with that juiciness and it's so so nourishing and moisturizing on the lips guys so the formulation is really good not at all sticky on the lips does not drip off does not feel uncomfortable it adds that beautiful glamour to your face guys your face will look so glamorous your lips will look so juicy so coming to the pigmentation i would say that these lip glosses are not having a lot of pigments in it uh, so except the shade called petal petal is a shade which is more of an opaque gloss it has got that pink pigment in it guys which is uh, definitely going to be visible on your lips so you can use Use the shade petal on its own you don't have to use it with any other uh, lipsticks or lip liners so, but the shade moon and topaz is more of a sheer pearlescent gloss so this will work on its own at the same time you can just drop it on top of your any lipstick if you want to show the actual pearlescent formula the pearlescent effect of this gloss you can apply it on its own at the same time on top of any lipstick so the long lasting power of this glosses is not that great since it since it's a lip gloss and once you apply single layer of this uh, lip gloss it's gonna be there on your lips for the next two and a half hours after which it needs a reapplication and i don't mind reapplying my lip gloss throughout the day guys because it's a lip gloss and i just want my lips to remain hydrated and moisturized so i can definitely reapply this so you can use this glosses on its own as i have mentioned guys uh, the petal is a shade which is having more of a pigmented opaque formula but uh, all of the sh shades you can use on its own at the same time you can just top it on top of your any lipstick any nude lipstick lip liner you have today i have used uh, the plum matterific lipstick in the shade plush r which is a beautiful warm peachy uh, nude color as my lipstick and on top of that i have used uh, the shade moon 
as a gloss and you can see the product is still there on my lips i have been talking since a long time guys and i have been working since a long time i haven't reapplied it so the product is still there so you can make out that you just need to reapply any kind of gloss you have and uh that will definitely work so so that's all guys this is my thoughts on the newly launched lifter glosses from maybelline and the maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara this is what i feel about these products both of these products are amazing guys if you want me to choose between the mascara and the glosses i would say just go for the glosses if you have if you have a tight budget just buy at least one single gloss guys and you're gonna love it the mascara is equally equally good it is a beautiful mascara but just wait for the sale so that the price drops and you can just save your money but the quality of both of these products is amazing guys and i'm so happy that i have bought these products so i'm gonna put the links of these products down in the description box if you want you can definitely check that out and if you are watching me for the first time make sure that you subscribe to my channel because i just need your love and support and if you like this kind of contents on my channel do not forget to hit on the like button because that will help me a lot that will mean a complete world to me guys i just need your love and support if you want me to grow you can share this video with your friends and family on whatsapp twitter facebook instagram or any other social platform because that will allow my videos to reach more people guys so please do share we'll see you soon in my next video guys with some amazing content so stay tuned take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy bye guys